Hello, baseball fans and out of the park fans. It's me, Bob Zolke, and I'm here again with my Pirates season, very popular 1980 Pirates season, but we're in 1981 because it's a career season in um, out of the park. So you keep playing every season, one after the other with different trades and different players going to different teams and uh as such we have a quite different pirates team than the actual 1980 pirates team now if we look at the standings as we are about to do we can see that we are dead last in the uh national league east division we are in fact um just behind the Mets, I think we're, yes, one game worse than the Mets. Um, and we are 10 games worse than the Cubs. And after that, everybody is just gone. So uh, we are not doing well. Um, if we look at my lifetime record, this is, our, of course, my second season. I did the 1980 season, and, the, and then uh, this is the 1981 season. And if we look at my manager history, I was 94 and 68 in 1980. You might recall just barely missing the playoffs. Uh, but this year, we are 59 and 86. We're in dead last with a 153 and 154 overall record for my time as a manager. And again, I am just the manager of the team. There is an AI um, general manager, and he makes all the trades for the team. He makes all the deals. He calls people up, sends people down. I just work with what he gives me. So, uh, and that's part of the problem. So uh, that's where the standings are. And if we look at the, now I got to switch this back over. Now, if we look at the, uh, team schedule, you can see, uh, you can tell by the record, we're almost through the season. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games left. Uh, this is uh, the game where we are going. We are starting a series against the Phillies. And let me see what the matchup is going to be. Uh, it's going to be John Candelaria for us, who is 12 and 8 with a 327 earned run average, and their starter. Or wait a minute, no, my start. No, we traded Candelaria. My God, the general manager is killing me. All right, so John Candelaria is going to start for the Phillies, and he's 12 and 8 with a 327 earned run average. Our starter is Jim Beatty, and he's 5 and 7 with a 507 earned run average. Um, and I guess I'm going to go with that. Uh, we've got some updates over here, but uh, well, we got an injury update for Ken Brett or George Brett. George Brett. Kansas City Royals have made it official. George Brett is headed to the injured list with a torn quad. Ooh, they're in that. If they make the play, what? Are, let's see. Are they even? Can they go to the playoffs? No, nah, probably not. So I guess it doesn't matter. But anyway. So anyway, we are playing the Phillies. Only 13 games left, so I'm not sure if I'm going to play the last game of the season or televise the last game of the season. What I might do is I'll televise this game as I'm about to play. And then we will do, you know, after the season's over, after the World Series, and then I'll do a video where I tell everybody, here's what the World Series was, here's what we're doing in the off season, and then I'll kind of zip through the off season and see um, what we do, who we acquire. Um, also notable here, although I don't anticipate myself leaving, I say I don't anticipate because I might still, but if you look at... Um, history or if you look at um uh, available jobs i could become the manager of the orioles or the athletics or the phillies which is really crazy 
I have just over a 500 record or just under a 500 record. Right around there, it's right around 500. And yet the team that's um, vying for the uh, East lead could actually um, hire me and, and want me. Because the, the way it works in this game, if you apply as a manager of any one of these teams, they will hire you. So, but as I said, I don't anticipate leaving the Pirates. I want to see what we can do. Uh, we do have some uh, good young players in the uh, system, I think, and uh, I want to see how that works out. So let's go on to the game against the Phillies. Um, we've got our lineup over here, which I guess looks fine. Beatty, I'm not really... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Not really that happy about pitching Beatty, but then again, you know, why not? So I think we're good to go. And let's get on with the game. All right. And we are, let's see. First batter is Willie Wilson for us. And we are in the vet, old veteran stadium. Now I thought I'd upgraded that to the new to the new ballpark, but I guess I didn't. Whatever it was that I did didn't work. Um so you got Rodney Scott up. And Rodney Scott, as you will remember, he was an expo, most notably, not a pirate. And uh, he uh, hits into a fielder's choice. So we got a man at second with Richie Hebner up against the candy man. He's out. And up steps Willie Stargell. Willie Stargell will be retiring at the end of the year, although he said that last year. So... We'll see if he really will be. And, and we had him in AAA for most of the season. Again, it wasn't me that did that. It was our general manager that did that, putting Willie Stargell through the uh, um, embarrassment of having to play in AAA, which I'm surprised that didn't uh, convince him to actually really retire. But anyway, we did get a run, and we leave one nothing. Julio Franco <clears throat> is up at the plate for them, and we got Jim Beatty with a 507 earned run average. Five and seven with a 507. And uh, oh my God, Franco rips one down the line on Beatty. And the right fielder takes his time going to get the ball, so that's going to be a triple for Franco down by the schoolyard. Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. Man at third with no outs. Claude L. Washington is up, and he pops out, or lines out, or a soft liner to the shortstop. One down. That's going to be, that's going to get the run home, and actually the batter was even safe, it looks like. Uh, yeah. So it's 1-1. One, one. Again, we don't really expect to win this game. We're horrible, and... The Phillies are vying for first place in our division. So I don't expect that to happen anyway. Um, Ryan Sandberg. And he's going to fly out. So it's a tie game after one. And Kevin King, a guy in our minor league system. And by the way, this is after September 1st. So we are playing with expanded rosters. And that's why you see a lot of these guys that were minor league <coughs> type players um, on our roster. Rick Cerrone. Rick Cerrone ripping it. You know what? Rick Cerrone was complaining about his playing time to me in the game. And, um, you know, I mean, I guess rightly so because he's actually doing quite well. He's having a very good season. 
BD um, moved Cerrone over to second, which didn't matter because it was a third out. So we got BD back out on the mound against Ozzy Virgil. Remember Ozzy Virgil? I remember Ozzy Virgil. And D's out. That brings up Manny Trio, the second baseman. Everybody remembers Manny Trio. Very good second baseman. <clears throat> My God. So two down. And Jerry Willard, the right fielder up. I do remember Jerry Willard, too. In fact, I recall him being on the Expos for some reason. I'm not sure. But, and he might have been. Leave it in the comments if you know. Uh, was he ever on the Phillies? So we got Willie Wilson. We're back at the top of the order in the third here. And Willie Wilson is going to fly out. Then you've got Rodney Scott. Rodney Scott is going to get a base hit and maybe a double. Maybe. Looks like. Rodney Scott ripping a double down the uh, right field line. And uh, Richie Hebner is up. Richie Hebner, one of our better hitters this year. And he shows it right there. Can we score Scott? I think we might. Yeah, we do. So we take the lead. Two and one. Willie Stargell up at the plate and he is going to be out no wonder he's retiring maybe craig Kasich. now i want to point this guy out too he's hitting 264 with a 313 on base percentage <clears throat> respectable numbers he doesn't have a lot of power but in real life this guy only spent a small portion of one season in the major leagues that was it that was his major league career but yet here he has 182 at bats he's hitting 264 with a 313 on base percentage which is at least passable although right there he lines out to the pitcher so um kind of interesting in this game some of the things that will happen like guys that were only up for a cup of coffee could have a career i mean who knows and we'll see what the general manager has in store for him candelaria out on the mound or no candelaria was up at the plate and we Oh, God, an error. All right. So Candelaria is at second now. And with this powerful Phillies lineup, that's case in point right there. You really did not need that. So the Phillies, Candelaria comes around to score, and the Phillies tie the game. And that brings... Uh, Ooh, I forgot, and it's going to be a home run. <clears throat> Whoever it was, was a home run for Washington. So now the Phillies are leading four to two. Not surprising. We were hanging for a little while, but that little while was a very little while. Now you got um, Michael Jack Schmidt up at the plate. And he is going to fly out to right field. And that brings to the plate Ryan Sandberg. Ryan Sandberg, who was in the Philly system, but the Phillies traded him to the Cubs. But of course, this is out of the park baseball. So he may go on to have a very long and illustrious career as a Philly and not as a Chicago Cubs. Although he did later become the manager of the Phillies, briefly. So it's 4-2. to two. Kevin King is up against the Candyman. And that's an out. I hope we got some good prospects for Candyman, because I'm telling you, I don't know if that really was a great idea to trade him. There's a base hit. One out, one on. Top of the fourth, Rick Cerrone up. And Rick Cerrone is going to hit into a double play. And that was Trio, and Trio grounds out. So 4-2, we're still in this game, but... Uh, BD has to shut it down right now. And that brings, I don't know who I missed it. 
And that's going to be out in front of the plate. And Cerrone throws him out. So Beatty gets out of that inning. And uh, you know what? Beatty is up. And I may just do what I'm going to do, which is lead off and pinch hit for uh, Beatty. Since he is not that great anyway, we'll warm up um, Glenn Abbott in the pen. And we will pinch hit. Um, let's see. There's a lefty up. So, yeah, we're going to pinch hit uh, this guy, Paul. Paul Giacono. I don't know that guy. I never heard of him, but he's hitting pretty well for us in limited play. And he's going to fly out. One down, and Willie Wilson is up. And he's going to get out quickly. And you got Rodney Scott. Rodney Scott. And Rodney Scott just strikes out with back. The place, and we got Glenn Abbott ready to go. Not that that's good, but, you know, I had to try to pinch hit and get us some runs. And that's going to be Glenn Abbott just sends that dude back to the uh, back to the bench, and Claude L. Washington's up. Claude L., come on, throw him out. Yes. So Glenn Abbott coming on, not playing games, gets the first two batters out. And that's going to be inside. He walks him. That's going to be Mike Schmidt up with a man on. And they walked Mike Schmidt, which is probably not the worst decision you could make. And there's going to be a ground ball. Hopefully, no. No, we had an error by Rodney Scott on the on the uh, play. And so, um, Ozzy Virgil Jr. is up with the bases full, but with two outs. And a, is that a great play? Yes. Great play by, I believe, Kasich in center field, that guy we were talking about earlier. Richie Hebner up. So we're in a close game here. You know, and the thing is, you know, I played some games offline leading up to this game, and we lost a lot of close games. We lost like two or three one-run games. So one would think we're just, it, we're very close, you know. By and large, the starting pitching is good on this team, but the bullpen is horrible. We have a horrible bullpen. Here's Kasich. Kasich is going to fly out. But we have a bad bullpen, and we, and the starters are the starters are pretty good. We have a pretty good starting rotation, and even good guys in the in the uh, in the system. Uh, but the the bullpen is mainly made up of washed up starters, like like Glenn Abbott. So um, and Adrian Devine, and you know guys like that. Um, so we need, we need, uh, better relief pitching, I think. And we could use some better offense at shortstop and well, shortstop and at least I, well, not, no, not two of the, maybe just center field. Cause like right now I've got Kasich out there. Yeah. You can see I got Kasich out there right now. I'm not saying he's for sure the definite. Uh, better, the best center fielder we have, but we don't have someone who's good enough to put out there um, that's like a serious upgrade over him, you know. But we have Willie Wilson and we have Lee Lacey still. Those guys are uh, really great. Um, catcher, I would say we need a little more offensive catcher, except that if Cerrone becomes a much better Cerrone than he was in real life, then we really don't. Uh, Tim Foley is up. Again, here we are. We're in the seventh inning. We're only down by two runs. And now you got Rick Cerrone. I'm hoping Cerrone gets out because the next batter is Abbott, and I would replace Abbott. So, yeah, there you go. So we're going to let Abbott pitch. You can see down here by his bar, he's not really gassed yet 
He's got some something left in the tank, although it looks like he's going to walk this guy, and he does. Um, Fred Lynn up. Fred Lynn. See, Fred Lynn never played for the Phillies. This is an awesome Phillies team. Two on with no outs. And that's going to be a base hit, and Abbott couldn't hold us. And I'm not even going to replace him right now. I mean, really, it's, well, the bases are loaded. So that's a pop out. There's one down. If we can get a double play or a strikeout or a pop out or something that doesn't advance the runners, we got a chance of getting out of this inning. But that didn't happen. And we're not even going to get a good timely throw. So two runs score. And the Phillies have runners at first and second with two down. Or no, with one down. Now it's now we're out of the inning. But that double play came a little too late. So it's 6-2. We are definitely behind the uh, where we are, you know, in comparison to the Phillies, although they went out and got people like Fred Lynn. So yeah, no doubt. Um, I'm going to warm up Dave Heaverlow. And we are going to pinch hit. A, it's a lefty. I'm going to pinch hit uh, let's get a look at some of these other guys, Eugenio Coates. And that's another thing I like to do if I'm not going to contend is I like to play guys that wouldn't play a lot. I like to get them some action because maybe they can develop if you play them a lot. There used to be a game, and I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you used to have this game. It was called High Heat. It was an awesome game. I loved it. It was a computer-based game. Um, but you, it was, it was one of these deals where if you had a guy from the minors, even if he wasn't very good, if you brought him up and you played him, you know, the same thing could happen in real life. One one of two things. Either he was playing in the majors and he was getting experience and he gets better. Or he's just massively overmatched initially. And if you had waited, you would have been fine. But you tried to bring him up too early. And he, um, and he doesn't do well. So now we're going to bring in Heverlow to pitch. That game was awesome. High Heat was one of the best games I can ever remember. Play a computer like a computer based game, not cards and dice type. Uh, but as far as computer games, Micro League was awesome. High Heat, I don't know how I would rate High Heat as compared to Micro League. They were both very, very good games. And they were from a previous time and they were still good. Like I would play the Micro League that I used to play on the computer, I would play that now. And that's how good it would be. And high, the same thing with high heat. I would play that high heat game now. So yeah, the guy's safe. He reloads out there getting his uh, ass handed to him, and he hits a batter. So we got the bases loaded with Phillies with no outs. Not a good thing. He reloads in trouble. That's going to be a pop-up. So there's one down. Um, Michael Jack Schmidt is up. He strikes out. Heverlow. Heverlow. And they bring in McGraw. McGraw comes in to face Willie Stargell. This matchup probably happened a lot in real life. And at least McGraw really was on the Phillies. And Stargell rips one down the right field line. Brings up Kasich. Kasich! Is he going to get an infield hit? No, they got Stargell. Uh, you know, I mean, he's like 40 years old in this game. So that one's ripped right down the line. But, of course, Schmidt plays it and gets the lead runner. So with two down, we have Tim Foley up. And Tim Foley is going to be out. 
And that is going to mercifully be the game. And so there you go. We drop it 6-2. We go to 59 and 87. Not a good record. I'll let you look at the box score in case you want to take a look at the box score. In fact, I'll get my mug out of the way so you can see how some of these guys are doing for the Phillies. Um, yeah. So Kasich was 0 for 4. He's dropping. He's he's going to hell in a handbasket. Beatty pitched four, allowed three earned runs, 513 earned run average for him. Abbott pitched three and allowed two earned runs. Heverlow pitched one and didn't allow any, although it looked like he was going to. All righty. So we get out of there. We're going to go back, just uh, check the uh, season over for Jones. Randy Jones. I think we had him too, and our general manager saw fit to trade him. So I hope he stacked our system. That, however, is something we will look at on another video. The video after the season ends and after the World Series is played, we will look at our minor league system, see who we have down there. And then we'll see who we end up with on our roster. Um, so the next time, the season will probably be over. Uh, but we'll take one last look at the standings. So we are um, not the worst team in baseball, only because there's a Chicago White Sox team that's terrible. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.